All right, welcome back. We're gonna do our dungeon run now. We got a uh, plus nine Waycrest. Help! Uh, These little ones have taken all our scrolls uh, and don't turned care. themselves into beasts. Um, we're actually a pretty high item level. Uh, we could easily do probably a plus fifteen um, in anything lower, obviously. Um, but I just I want to do something up. a little easy. Uh, just far. <coughs> I don't want to do anything too complicated. Uh, just to give you guys an idea of how this runs and a feel for it. That's all this is for. So we're going to do a plus 9. Uh, at plus 10 you have to start dealing with the Awaken Affects, which is a little annoying. Uh, this week is also Bolstering and... Um, what the heck's it called? Explosive. Uh, bolstering just means you need to kill everything basically at the same time. You don't want to kill one, 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 because the very last mob is going to be very powerful. So you want to take every single mob down at uh, pretty much e uh, same at the same rate. Um, which is fine. It just means a bit more tab targeting. Uh, trying to always take down the highest health target. Uh, explosive is very annoying. It's these fiery globes that appear, and if you don't kill them, they do a serious amount of damage to your uh, group. You can t tab target to them, you can click on them, and usually if you look at them wrong, they'll die. They're very weak. They take just one split second to kill. But you have to do it, and they're unaffected by AoE, so you can't just spam AoE and forget about it. You have to specifically target them, which is very annoying. So. Forgive me if, uh, yeah, I would love to help someone. Is anybody else coming? Paladin? Yeah, Paladin's coming. Um, <coughs> so forgive me if I start getting quiet and whatnot. I am doing, I am trying to be better at talking and give you guys information, let you know why I'm doing the things I'm doing, where I'm moving, uh, so on and so forth. Um, but this is all still new to me. I'm still getting the hang of it. Uh, also, even if I'm not talking, you can still see where my character is. I, I might not specifically tell you... I don't have a touch. I might not specifically tell you why I went somewhere, but usually you can work it out. You can look around and be like, why did he... Go? Oh, I see why he went there. He did this to do that. Um, oh, this is going to suck. So, doing a group, uh, you need to use a Ferocity Pet. No, no, I don't. Never mind. I was going to say, because you want bloodlust. <laughs> uh, but the mage has bloodlust, so the mage can do it. So I can stay on my tank pets. Like I said, all pets do the same amount of damage, it's just their different abilities that they have. These pets <coughs> are very good at helping me survive, but they don't pop bloodlust. Um, actually, I might switch anyways, because... Yeah, no, see, even the DPS pet, it's not even a DPS gain. It just improves your leech. There isn't a DPS gain from any specific... Yeah. Did we all get summoned? I think we did. So you can see here their taunt is on. Uh, as soon as we go inside, it should turn off automatically. <clears throat> we also need to put whoever the tank is on focus. Uh, yep, see, taunt automatically turns off. Uh, I'm going to guess the tank is the guy with over 30,000 hit points. Jesus. So now that he's my focus target, anytime I hit misdirect, it'll automatically misdirect to him. Not that we're worried. We're, we're far too pretty to die. I mean, look at us. <laughs> the mobs are just going to be stunned into disbelief. Is he in here yet? Yeah, there he is. I just want to... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's got very good gear. For... Okay. Although he doesn't have a gem or an enchant. That's weird. It's not normal. That's a mythic. There we go. 
so Wakerest Manor is a really kind of a cool place. Uh, a lot of tight hallways, though, and you kind of need to know where you're going. Uh, hold on one second. So we're going to eat some food. We're going to flask up. Not that we need to, but we're going to take this seriously. Usually it's more beneficial if they give you a cooldown uh, countdown before they pop the key, but eh, whatever. Always make sure to resummon your mouth. Where are you going first? Go on that way. Ladies, ensure all visitors are made comfortable. So like I said, you pop barb shot and whatnot. Stop them from casting, tab target around. There's that explosive I was telling you about. Tab targeting around and doing all this stuff, it kind of makes it difficult to keep up barb shot, but we do our best. One of the coven's top witches is sacrificing acolytes in an effort to gain more power. Destroy her and show these upstarts that only the dark is the meaning of the death. So, as I said, the um <clears throat> Beastmaster Hunter isn't exactly the best at uh, AoE, which is kind of good because, like I said, we need to uh, focus around a single target a lot more. Uh, see, that went off. I thought I killed it, but didn't <clears throat> didn't hit that explosive in time. So we took a fairly good chunk of damage. If one one goes off, even two, it's not going to kill you guys. Um, but it's just good to be in the habit. And yes, you can create. I didn't, okay. I didn't know we pulled extra. Um, it's just good to get in the habit of taking out those explosives. But the only reason I'm doing any area at all is to trigger my beast cleave. Uh, sometimes what I'll do is if I am PvPing, Instead of uh, dumping focus on uh, Cobra Shot, I'll dump it on. Fuck. Looks like they're kind of leaving the responsibility of taking these things out to me, which is very annoying. I think the uh, Demon Hunter was trying to do it with his I beam. Doesn't work. AoE will not take out the explosive. Anyways, like I said, I will replace uh, Cobra Shot with Multi Shot. Rotation. It's usually how I uh, work out when to cast multi shot. That, that explosive shot was in the explosive orb was in the back. I just could not tab target to it. I couldn't click it with my mouse. That was a very difficult time there. Oh, that's interesting. The 
uh, Avenger Shield from the Paladin, which is, I thought, technically AoE, kills them. surprised how well I'm keeping up the frenzy stacks. I'm kind of all over the place here. So as you can see, uh, I'm tap targeting around, I'm trying to do as much as I can, but I'm also trying to interrupt things. I'm also trying to redirect aggro, so on and so forth. Like I said, as a hunter, you do a lot of damage, especially as Beast Mastery. But, uh... Sometimes your main job really is just to uh, control the situation. Interrupt that, take out the orb. Uh, if you're top of the meters, awesome. Uh, but way more important is to be useful and keep your group alive and help out <coughs> your raid or group or whoever they might be. <coughs> you don't want to have no DPS, you don't want to be bottom of the barrel doing sub tank DPS. But if you can do decent damage and also really help out your group, that's where the sweet spot is. So I'm gonna put hunter mark on him, just cause I can. It doesn't do anything. Just Stay for so pop all our cooldowns and then just go to town, just do our rotation. So at some point here, he's going to summon extra adds, and you'll see uh, exactly what I was talking about with um, Hunter Utility. So he also cast. Oh, see, my pets were dying. Right? So we're going to throw a slowing trap over there to slow the guys over there. Stop him and slow him down with concussive shot, heal our pets. So we're just trying to slow all the mobs that we can down to give everybody an easier time. Don't let the mobs reach him. While at the same time, Trying to kill everything. Oh, pop our thing. So the staff's coming again. I'm gonna throw that over there. That. Hit him. Pets on him. And there's one over there too that nobody's. He was trapped, but no one Oh no. So back to the boss. He's almost dead. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Yeah, I'm taking a little bit too much damage. That. Perfect. So you can see the utility. We we trap. We put a slowing trap over there for that one. We put a nice trap down here for this one. We can custom shot and kill this one. All the while, our pets are going all over the place, and we're also trying to avoid damage. There's a lot going on. But that's exactly what I was talking about. And, and trying to talk to you guys. 
I think the main thing is, is just as you get more comfortable with a class, things kind of become second nature. And so, uh, talking and whatnot becomes a lot easier. We'll see. Oop, nope. Interrupt that. I have nothing for that. Ah, uh, that's not true. I could have trapped him. Ooh, there's something in a trench shot there. Uh, if you're interrupted, if you're stunned, if all that's down, you you can fire off a trap if you if you're quick enough and just trap him. Even though it's going to be broken a split second later, you know the trap's just going to go away. Said CC, so I CC'd one. That was the only one that did. No, 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 no. Oh. It's one of the only bad things about the hunter is cooldown is uh, interrupted. It's very long. See, right now we have Aspect of the Wild uh, up and available, but I'm not going to use it because uh, we've got a boss coming up real soon. Chances are I could probably uh, do it in time, but why risk it? Our DPS is more than adequate for a 9. I will do Beast of your Wrath though, because like I said, the more, uh, the more you cast, the more everything comes off the cooldown anyway, so... Beware. Still, uh, we will save that Beast of your Wrath, because the boss is literally the next target. I don't think it'll come off cooldown that fast. So here you want to DPS the boss, and then every now and then he's going to enshrine somebody in uh, thorns. And you want to kill the thorns. Like that. Me. And I can just put my pets on it. So I'm just call my pets back. Myself. Yeah, I don't have to rely on. Switch the thorns target. Keep DPS to the boss. That specs up. So yeah, that's the whole fight, because you just want to uh, DPS the boss and DPS thorns. And stand in the druid's healing stuff. Switch to thorns. The boss. I don't know what the tank is doing. All over the place. If he knows, you can just stand still. I'm having a real bad time keeping my friends stacked up. I'm not getting many barb shots. I don't know why. Kill shot range. I mean, yeah, there's stuff to avoid on the ground, but not that much. That the, I, I, like it right now, I don't know why he's moving around. There's no reason for it. Sorry, there's an explosive orb and thorns. So. Continue to 
meddle in my affairs and your debts Oof. will be long and abhorrent. Oh yeah, you also have Aspect of the Cheetah. It's basically just a sprint. Makes you run fast. My uh, file client is in windowed mode so that I can easily click onto other screens when I need to. And I just did a second ago. I didn't need to. Just accidentally did. Sorry about that. Oof. Yeah, see, if we were doing like a 14, 15 key, I wouldn't be able to talk nearly as much because there'd be a lot more on the line, but. Anything that we're doing wrong and our group's doing wrong, and I'm seeing a lot of stuff, doesn't matter. It's a plus nine, not that big of a deal. At our gear level, I, I know plus nine can be a big deal for a lot of people. But at our gear level. Alright, so he put that ice shield on himself. I wasn't able to uh, interrupt the cast. Uh, but it didn't matter because we have tranquilization shots, so we just removed it. Okay, we'll run out that one. We're not going to pack uh, pop aspect, not because there's a boss, just because this dude's almost dead. There's no point. That's what that little green thing in the center is, by the way, telling me that aspect is ready. So we'll pop it now. <laughs> that thing was hiding behind the corner, man. <laughs> I don't know if it's because we just outgear this place, but I mean, the other guys are doing sub tank damage. Although, in their defense, tanks currently are, or paladin tanks currently are the highest damage uh, tanks there are, and that guy is very, very geared. Uh, some people actually have um, weak ores or macros that track their interrupt and lets them know when it's available. I don't. I probably should, but eh. I hit it. If it's available, I interrupt. If it doesn't get interrupted, I know it's not available. Keeping my frenzy stacks up is actually very difficult on explosives and bolstering because I'm cap targeting out of my mind. I imagine, I wonder sometimes, like, 
I was actually very, very, very good. Uh, what my DPS would be. Because, I mean... I'm not very good, and my DPS is actually very good. So, imagine if I knew what I was doing. So right there, I, I didn't need to wait for, I didn't need to do Mr. X. Stun her. I don't know what she was casting, but I don't want her to cast it. So this fight, there's three sisters. Uh, I think we're gonna, yeah, he's gonna clear the other side of the room real quick. Uh, this fight, oh my pants are dying. The three sisters are going to pass around an eye. It's from the old lore. I'm sure you've heard of it before. Uh, so you can only DPS one sister at a time. Uh, so you always want to make sure you're on the right one. And uh, you want to interrupt as much as possible. Interrupt the spells and... So it's that one. So interrupts. On cooldowns. And then they're gonna. <clears throat> oh. I wonder. So they uh, they MC someone at random, and you have to DPS them down to get them out of it. But my um, tranquilizing shot popped, so I'm kind of wondering if I can just trank shot it. Do this, like that. Heal ourselves. Um, oh shoot, we're all dead. Oh, am I gonna live? No. That's what I was talking about. There's way too much AoE damage going out. So even though I faint death, I still died. Anyways, yeah, it, it looked like that mind control, I could trank shot it off somebody. That'd be interesting. Or because he was mind control, I could trank shot one of his buffs. That would be real bad. I wouldn't want to do that to him, but it is what it is. Um... See, this is one of those times I really wish I had camouflage, because I wouldn't have to... Oh, it's right there, okay. As I said, I wouldn't have to remember where to go. I could just pop camo and run by any ads that I find. Uh, let's rebuff up on food. Don't pull, don't pull, don't pull, don't pull, don't pull. Don't pull. Okay, you can pull. <laughs> yeah, definitely lust. We're having problems on this fight. Last fight, the joke. Nope. I train shot, it didn't do anything. Oh, God damn. I was like, why are my pets still over there? She froze them in place. <laughs> Alright, who's the one now? So it's always going to be the one with the skull, if you're using DVM. We're going to watch that cooldown, and... Oh, I don't have anything. Pop 
that. Try to help ourselves out, and we're gonna die. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> Such a lovely, lovely, I don't know if the healer's just not healing enough, if the other guys are just too low. So if I get the curse, I gotta keep moving. Uh, Shift J will bring up the uh, dungeon journal, and you can find out. Triad. Oh shoot! I didn't eat food. I didn't eat food. Do I have time? You no, have I don't. No power here. Well, I see room, that's pretty easy. So we'll just keep moving. <laughs> he said he can take care of the orbs. Just says move away from others, it doesn't say to keep moving. We'll keep moving. It doesn't feel like it's helping at all. Hmm. Well, we'll just keep you casting and moving. Uh, these shards that keep popping up are from my... So, I'm technically dead to them, so they're not going to cast anything on me, right? Huh? Dude. Oh, that orb's gonna go off. No, it's not. Okay. I'll keep fucking defasting. We're gonna die. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Oh! I got saved, technically. Oh, that's funny. There's a heal. You belong to me now. And I got CC'd again. Oh no, the work went off. Every time I got CC to put my health back to full. <laughs> that was funny. It's far from over. I'm gonna go out. Yeah, what, what, let's see. Look at this mark. Marks all nearby enemies with cursed runes from inflicting shadow damage. And once ever sticks out upon expression. If the mark is dispelled, the rune explodes, inflicting additional shadow damage to all allies within six yards. Yeah. Says nothing about moving. Uh, 
Casters and power. Energy, soul manipulation, the cast minute. Yeah, there's nothing. There's really nothing that flipped in That's nice, it doesn't use my bow. I just punch people. It's kinda... Reduce. Oh, that's oh, an aura. You bear the black Uh, he's talking about, yeah, if we don't do the dungeon in time, you can talk to the fish and get a buff, because basically it's Blizzard feeling sorry for you. <laughs> First let me repair. Eh, 65%. I'm okay. Uh, healers. Uh, focusing iris. Tanks. I'm still manipulation. Abilities. Ramble chain, that was Ore of Thorns. There's a lot of thorn. She struck. Aura of Dread. There it is. That's what's killing us. Anyways, like I said, if you press Shift-J, it brings up that dungeon journal, which is really nice because you can see uh, it can give you a quick overview of what, you know, just look out for these things if you're a DPS healer or tank or whatever, but you can go way more in-depth and look at exactly all the abilities that they have. Um, you can also look at loot. <laughs> There's also maps. Shift-J, wonderful tool. Healing reduced. Dance, dance. Uh, 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 there goes my frenzy stacks. Uh, he said he can take care of the. Um, who's next? So this is the aura of dread. This is where we need to keep moving. We need to stop DPSing. I love the sound of snapping My thorns will rip you to shreds.
Oh. Okay. Uh, they're just giving up. <laughs> so, uh, okay. I guess they. All right. Well, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry I couldn't show us show you guys a full run, but uh, I think you get the idea. We talked about just about everything. Uh, you guys see traps and slows and some feigned deaths and turtles and all sorts of stuff. Um, but yeah, so if you're ever in this dungeon on those sisters, um, that's what was going on is these auras. So uh, aura of thorns inflicting 613 physical damage every time she is struck. So when she's active, careful of your DPS. You might want to completely stop, which is what I did for a second there. You might want to back off because you could possibly kill yourself. Um, aura of dread. Um, Inflicting 279 shadow damage every one second. This affects stacks. Stacks are removed when moving. So during her, all you gotta do is move. That's it. Which, easier said than done. For Beast Mastery Hunter, that's very simple. But I saw when that aura was up, our healer was just standing still trying to heal. Our Frost Mage was standing still just trying to cast. And it's just like, that's... They're basically, they were just dying. They are taking so much damage. Um... And Aura of Apathy uh, it just reduces healing done. There's nothing you can do about that. Um, but because there shouldn't be too much damage going out because there's no other auras active, that's kind of nice. So, yeah. All right. Well, that's half of Waycrest. Uh, I really do recommend checking out the full place. It's kind of cool. It reminds me of Karazhan a little. It's very creative. I like the dungeon. Uh, there are tight halls. Um, some of the mobs are hard to uh, get to. There's Sometimes there's too much AOE. Sometimes things hide behind corners. Uh, so on and so forth. And uh, in higher keys, this place can be an absolute nightmare. Nothing as bad as Siege of Brales, though. Absolute worst dungeon in high keys. Anyways. Uh, what? Oh no, my pets are over there. If I... They're feigning death if I wake them up. But I feign death, so. You disappoint <laughs> oh, yeah, see the timer wore off? Uh, I'll show you. So, this giant. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, wow, they wanted to make it obvious. So, when the timer runs out and you haven't completed the dungeon in time, this fish will appear and you can talk to him. And he will give you Zoss favor. I'm not going to take it. Puts a debuff on you. Um, basically, it increases your damage, reduces their damage. I, I'm not entirely sure what it does. But it helps you out. So it makes the dungeon easier because it realizes you're having a tough time. Um, 21 deaths. I don't think... Let's take a look here. That's not going to... Oh, weird. All right. So, yeah, that's Waycrest Manor. That's the Beast Mastery Hunter. Um, I'll try to get a full run some other time. Uh, thanks for joining me. Talk to you guys later.